let's do it ourselves. What's up, citizens? It's your boy, Mavi XO, and I'm back with another video. Um, this one is gonna be a little bit different because as you can see, I do still have my braids in, but it's time to take it out and it's time to refresh. But I just didn't wanna do like no apple cider vinegar rinse. I didn't wanna do nothing like that because that's just gonna be too stripping on my hair. And so what I did, you know, as I like to do sometimes, I put my mad scientist hat on, okay? And I came up with what I think is gonna be the key to keeping moisturized or keeping a moisturized, but also a clean scalp, okay? We gotta keep that blood circulating. And so what I have come up, my little concoction here, we're just gonna call it my magic potion. Uh, it is an aloe vera based rice water treatment, we'll say. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this to my scalp. It'll be what I basically a pre-poo, if you will, a homemade, organic, 100% might be approved. Will wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Let me back up and say, because it was one of my mad scientist moments, it might not yet be Mavi approved, but it has Mavi approved potential. So we're gonna say that. You know, it has Mavi approved potential. So that's why I got my glasses on because I had to do some reading. Okay. And so um, we're going to apply this to my scalp. Probably let it sit about 30, 40 minutes. And then we're going to rinse it out. And I'm going to go through my full wash day. And depending on what I decide to do, I'm going to come back. But I'm going to take y'all along the way. And so what I first need to do is go ahead and get these braids out. And so I'm going to check you in a second. All right. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Trust me, I know I'm, I'm looking a hot mess right now, but that's what we're here for. We're here to get it together. And so as I stated, I got my little magic potion. And we just gonna see, we just gonna see if it works. You know, we just gonna see if we're able to put it on that shelf and hail it as one of our holy grails. Oh, you can't even see it. Put it on our top shelf <laughs> and yield it as one of our holy grails. And so we're just gonna get right to it. I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit because we just want to make sure it's thoroughly mixed, you know. Ah! Secondly, <laughs> make sure you have some paper towels around because if it's tightly packed or if it's, you know, hot or whatever, I don't know. I had mine sitting out a little bit because I didn't want it to be too cold going on my scalp. It may squirt everywhere, especially if you still shake it. And so keep that in mind, but we're just going to go right in. And I'm just gonna put it on my scalp. And then also, let me say, with me taking out my braids, that Mish Twist and Butter had my hair still moisturized. I mean, it's been like a week or so since I've taken, uh, since I've actually done those braids. And when I tell you, like literally, look at that. Still moisturized and shiny, but I don't like keeping my stuff in too long. You know, I wanna switch it up. So that's what we're doing. And like I said, I gotta keep this content coming. So I'm just gonna apply it to my scalp. You know, see if this concoction is worth it. And again, it is aloe vera and rice water based. And so you already know it's gonna, well, it should be extremely moisturizing and strengthening, you know, especially for the rice water. So I just want to see how this is going to, you know, make my scalp feel, you know. Like I said, I'm considering it a pre-poo. And so, we're going to see if this does the job, you know. And so, just to give you some of the benefits of, of the aloe vera, the honey, and the rice water, because basically I'm not having to create my own because the original preview that I was using is now on the list of those that shall not be named and has been canceled for 2020 and until further notice. And so as far as the aloe vera is concerned, it helps calm an itchy scalp. It also deep cleans, deep cleanses, it deeply cleanses the hair without removing the sebum or the natural oils from the scalp. The third is it actually strengthens your hair. Believe it or not, it has vitamins A, C, and E, all three of which contribute to the turnover of cells and the promotion of healthy hair growth. And then it also improves the circulation of blood to the hair. If you want to talk about the honey, you know, not only is honey a great emollient, it has great humectant properties. 
emollients basically smooth the follicle and add shine and humectants bond water molecules to the hair adding moisture and then last but not least good old rice water it is great for strengthening and smoothing the hair it has a ton of antioxidants and that's basically uh, the properties that help remove toxins or the elements that remove toxins from your hair that basically contribute to damage and also hair grain so believe that or not it helps reduce grain of the hair it has a ton of uh, elements it has potassium iodine magnesium zinc selenium manganese and fiber and so you know just imagine all of that in rice water along with the other uh, elements of honey and aloe vera come on now you got a good old superfood right there uh, and then along with that it's kind of like a good old shot of protein you know so i do want you to be careful if you are using rice water in your treatments use it sparingly sparingly because it can contribute to protein overload and dryness okay okay And I also added some peppermint oil to it, so it's definitely, definitely tingling on my scalp. You know, <laughs> kind of opening up those pores. Like I said, our scalp needs to breathe too. You know, I think I might want to do my hair like this one day. I ain't never done it like this, like brought it forward. Lord, I got something in my eye. Hold on. Lord, I swear. The little bit of his hair can feel like it's about to take your whole d out. Sheesh. That took me off my d But it's all right. Back to the regular schedule program. Continue to add this on. You no. Know? And then like I said, again, I'm a... Uh, I'm gonna let it sit for about a good 30 to 45 minutes just to let it penetrate and work itself into my hair. And then once I shower and uh, shampoo my hair, I'm gonna come back and we're just gonna go over the results. And so I'll be back y'all. Okay guys, I'm back. And as you can see, my hair is pretty much done or I basically did to it as much as I'm gonna do to it for now, considering in a couple of days, I'm gonna pretty much do the same process again because I have some ideas in mind and this is basically the prep work for it. But um, just to give you my initial thoughts, as I stated before, with all of the benefits of the aloe vera, I, you know, I'm, I'm still down for it. Uh, this treatment overall, I'll say I'll give it a seven out of 10, but it isn't more so based on the product itself, i.e. the aloe vera or the rice water. It's more so my formulation of it. And I'll get into that a little bit later, but as I stated, initial thoughts, it made my hair feel great, believe it or not. Um, when I was putting it on, it had some slip, but like I said, because of the formulation, it just didn't have as much as I would prefer. Um, it, it, it honestly made my hair feel totally different than I would have expected. This one, we're just gonna say this is the trial run um, or the trial session, we'll say. You know, these are all trials. And so I'm gonna definitely go back into it again and see with a different formulation of it if I'm gonna get better results. And so just to bring you up to speed, the only reason I'm saying this now is because when I hopped in the shower to actually rinse it out, my hair was feeling unusual. It was feeling unusual because it's not how I normally expect it to feel or I normally expected it to feel. You know, you get so used to doing your hair a certain type of way, you expect it to feel a certain type of way. So when you do something different and it doesn't necessarily feel how it normally does, it throws you off. And so I basically co-washed my hair a couple of times because I I have this new thing with this co-wash. I'm just, you know, just loving it. And so I've just been using it too much, but I probably should have just went in with a regular shampoo, um, you know, my regular shampoo that I normally use and then use that as my cleanser instead of the co-wash simply because the aloe vera is already kind of a conditioner again we're pre-pooing and so when i did that i was like my hair still doesn't feel like it's getting clean on the scalp the hair felt great you know the hair felt moisturized it was like this but why is my scalp not feeling the cleanliness that i or the the squeakiness that i would normally feel after usually just like a regular shampoo or another you know 
company made pre poo. So I went in afterwards with another type of shampoo, but boy, when I tell you that was a mistake. Oh no, 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 no. The worst thing I could have done, I should have stopped right there, shouldn't have even touched it because my hair, like literally, as soon as I put that shampoo in, all of the moisture came out of my hair. Like I literally, it literally felt as if somebody had poured fingernail polish remover on my hair. That's literally how stripped it felt. I was like, oh my gosh, what did I do? And so that told me right there that the product was actually working. It was more so the formulation and the application. And so we're gonna consider this trial number one. I'm going to reformulate it and then I'm gonna come back. Ah, I sound so country, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna reformulate it and then I'm gonna come back with another application and then we're gonna see if that does a better job or if it gives me better results, we'll say. And then we'll let we'll let that application lead into my next idea because like i said i got a whole lot of ideas twirling around in this head this is probably gonna be my aloe vera series right here and i got some other other series coming up but we're gonna keep the ideas rolling and so again this is trial number one i'm gonna reformulate come back with trial number two and we're gonna see if we can make it do what it do baby okay what jamie i'm say? gonna make it do what it do baby <laughs> and so if you like this video if you like what you see you already know the deal go ahead like and subscribe because we always need more citizens in this tribe peace and love y'all i'm out Red.